Hey guys, it's Emery and Becca here at Homestead Horsemanship and we're gonna do a little special video all about Colt today. So Colt is a little bit dirty <laughs> and he hasn't fully shed off his winter coat. He's got all these little knots yeah, he's got in his all coat. these yucky knots. But we're gonna do a little bit of a spa day with him. It's really hot out today. So it's a perfect day to do it. We're gonna get them all cleaned up. And for everybody who doesn't know Colt, Colt came to live with us this winter. He is just turned one years old and he actually stays with our Clydesdale Oliver and they are buddies. Uh, they're best friends or brothers as JR says. Okay, let's go give him a bath. Here's Oliver. Oliver, Colt has to go get a bath. Okay, buddy. Tomorrow, we're actually gonna take Oliver down to the river too. So make sure to look for that uh, video later on. We actually already got the video out of Oliver swimming at the river. So if you haven't seen it, make sure to go and check it out. A couple days before Colt's bath, uh, we actually dewarmed him. It was more of a follow-up dewarmer because we had recently dewarmed him, but we wanted to go ahead and do it just in case his coat not shedding off could have something to do with parasites. So this is a before of Colt, and then you can compare it to the after, see if he looks any better. These little ponies get the thickest winter coats you've ever seen. Our little pony Daisy literally looks like a woolly mammoth in the winter months, and it just takes a bit longer for them to shed off. But hopefully getting him all cleaned up and washed up, all the knots and tangles out will help that process go a little bit faster. So before we start giving him a bath, I think I'm going to try to brush some of his knots out and stuff. Yeah. He's got a lot of stuff going on here in his coat. And the fan might be kind of loud, but we're gonna keep it on even though we're doing a video because Patty is very pregnant and she is due any day and uh it's just hot out so she needs that fan on her blowing <laughs> also since this video patty had her a little full so you can go check out his birth video <laughs> it's titled a legacy is born on our homestead and this little fool is quite the handful he is so ornery and playful we've been having a lot of fun with him oh that feels good yeah right there you like this <laughs> yeah That feels good. So Becca started out using a shedding tool on Colt, but it didn't feel very good and pulled pretty hard on the knots. The knots did not want to come out easily. So she got the clippers out instead to see if they would work a little bit better. So this is a new experience for Colt. Uh, we've brushed him since we've owned him, but he's never had a bath or been clipped before. So all new, and he really didn't seem too thrilled. <laughs> Look at that chunk that Becca just got off of him. <laughs> To get all the knots out, Becca had to alternate between brushing and clipping, brushing and clipping. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Maybe we should just do that all over and get all that's the fur off. I mean, that's the length his hair's supposed to be. Yeah. Oh well, we'll just. The whole process of getting all the knots out on both sides and under his belly, uh, it probably took close to an hour, at least 45 minutes. Um, so it was a lot of work. I was trying to take out all the lines and I put one on. And... Okay, I think she got the last little knot out. Yep. Now what's well, the Well, there's some on his legs. Oh, okay. I think we just need to brush him out a little bit before starting the bath, huh? Yep. He doesn't have very many manners yet. He hasn't been trained, you know, at all. So he keeps trying to keep it. No.
He's gonna be dark once he finishes shutting off. Look at his mm -hmm. face. That's what his whole body will look like when he's shut off completely. Yeah. Be a bath. Yeah. It's okay. Good boy. It will feel good. It's so hot out. All these shivers. Can you pull my off? He's shivering. So again, this is Colt's first bath, and he was not thrilled with it. Uh, he really okay. didn't like it, and he was pretty scared, honestly, at first. We were trying to be real gentle with him, but he was also throwing quite a few fits for us until Becca <laughs> put the hose in his face, and then oh, yeah. um, he calmed down, yeah. and he actually started drinking and playing Aww. with her just a bit, um, and it really helped him uh, to settle into the bath and not be so scared. It was really sweet. Wow, that's funny. But yes, we do. He does have water in his pen, everybody. <laughs> He's not dying of thirst. He's just kind of playing and wanted a drink. A lot of it seems like a lot of the boys like drinking out of the hose. Like yeah, like I noticed that too. And mm -hmm. Maybe he'll make him calm down with it. There you go. And it's a hot day and this mm -hmm. is nice cold, cold water. water. Yeah, he has a creek. But the creek's cold water too. Yeah. yeah. But he gets really enjoying this though. Huh? Ooh. I think he's keeping his mouth there so that you don't spray him. <laughs> okay. This is like cute. Okay, we gotta do the rest of you now. You like it? <laughs> you didn't get that. It's not so bad. Oh, you poor baby. Oh, you think the baby. Oh. That's cold water. Close it down. Okay. We'll just do some soap. How about that? Becca's just using uh, the mane and tail shampoo for horses on him. And then she had a little wash brush that she's lightly scrubbing him with. And she did do a little bit more than normal, like that we normally would do on a horse. But she wanted to make sure he was squeaky clean. And we were hoping that some of that winter coat would come off as we were scrubbing him with the shampoo too. Maybe, yeah. Oh, stop, please. Okay, so we got all the soap rinsed out, but I had to set the camera down to help Becca because she is not liking this bath very much. He was freaking out over the being sprayed. So instead of doing, we were gonna do purple shampoo on his mane and tail and conditioner, but I think we're just gonna do the spray-in, leave-in conditioner because it's just upsetting him that much. And this is his first experience with it, so we don't wanna overwhelm him too much. That's what I'm gonna be using yep. on his hair instead of actual conditioner. From one of our wonderful viewers. Mm -hmm. That's, and this stuff, we had never used it until somebody sent it to us, and it is awesome. I love it. Yeah. Ponytails would look cute on him. Alfalfa. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, now I think we're just going to take him out to the yard in the sunshine and let him dry and eat some grass. Okay, Colt's out here eating grass and drying off. And then once he's dry, we'll let you guys see him. See what he looks like if he looks any better. I think he's going to be kind of fluffy curly. <laughs> yeah, he might be kind of fluffy. Becca says fluffy curly. But he'll at least feel better, I'm sure. Okay, guys, here's Colt's before, and then here's his after. So what do you think? Do you think he looks any better? Uh, maybe drop us a comment and let us know. Okay, it's been nice and sunny, and now it's about to rain. So we're gonna put cold up, but he's mostly dry. And he's still got that winter coat, um, but he looks a lot better and a ton of it's off. He just looks way more comfortable. His mane's all fluffy and nice. He was a handful for his bath. He definitely needs some worked with and some discipline and training, but we can do that on another day. He just really needed cleaned up really badly. So. We sure hope you enjoyed this little video of Colt. Uh, don't forget to give him a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on anything.